Good morning, guys. Michael here, Jamaica Car Guy. I'm heading to Kingston. I'm on the tour now. We're going to be shooting the 2021 Q5 Sport Bar. That's going to be different. Yeah. And I'm vlogging with a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And it made me look good. Yeah. I hope you all are good. Alright. So, we have arrived at the tow in Kingston. Yeah. This new camera, nice. Yo, something I don't understand though, like the tall, the tall umpteen kilometers long zine, like it well long, and it's a nice big toll road, and you pay if you come on the road, and them have the speed limit at like 80 kilometers, I'm not sure how much that in miles, but like 80 kilometers, yo, and police the on it, I do I check speed, like how often you hear the accident happen, and told and in the accident crash spot them you now see them you now see them on the accident crash spot what is it uh, 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 um. hello hi good morning morning how you doing doing yeah. right, you look all right me like your eye them thank you they're nice are yours no are yours for real all right. all right yeah but me yeah, i said the 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 tool umpteen miles long Right, you want to clean up. Alright. But the tool how long? And the mat them you, you pay if you go up on the tool and when you go up on the tool, police the on the tool, a body your backside, the speed limit are 80 kilometers. 80 kilometers of the old car. That's a back in ideas when time car you wheel usually fly off if them drive it too fast. But what me know still. Anyway, just reach a Kingston. I'll use Google Maps now, because I got Oxford Road to uh, pick up the vehicle. So I'll see you when I get there. All right, so we have made it to ATL Automotive, all the Jamaica in Kingston. Um, this is a Q5, this is a 2021 Q5, and that's the Q5 Sportback that we'll be shooting. Oh, it's a governor run. One thing I love about this camera is that it has a wide angle. So this is the 2021 Audi Q5 Sportback. I don't know the color, guess we'll figure out in a minute. But may I have to go wash the car. The car dirty. I was not expecting this, um, but yeah, no complaints. Gonna get the car washed. Well, I'm gonna wash the car on the back, and then we're good to go. Come on. I have mixed feelings. Probably change your mind by the end of the video, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Cool. Oh, she, uh, I washed. It, it was washed. Respect to Gavin. Right, we are. You don't know that good. We are ready to do road. We. Where do I go? Take my go down the airport side. Let's see what kind of shots I can get down there. And oh, and then I'm gonna go by. I go AC Hotel first. Yeah, I go by AC Hotel. See what kind of shots I can get up there. And then I go down by the airport. I'm all supposed to meet up with a Subaru WRX STI. I think it's the one with the Hawk Eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them on there. You'll see it. And yeah, ready to the road. Wide angle. Yeah. Love this new camera. It's a, not a new phone, but you know what I mean? It's a new phone for me. So we're at the road. See you at the next stop. Alright, so the first location I'm going to come is um, actually down by AC Hotel but we'll have some nice in the background uh, you know so the phone I'll pick up so just look around Still at AC Hotel, I know you probably remember this location from the shoot that we had with the Audi Q2, 
um we are upstairs the parking lot but we're having some crazy glare and i still don't have any form of filters for my lens in the process of working on those i kind of got some decent shots i'll work on them in post take out the glare and stuff but it's not looking too bad up here give you a quicker walk around on the car show you it look the grill it's a go on it's a grow on me now headlights they'll be popping curfew at two o'clock today so i can't spend a whole heap of time but something Gavin pointed out to me is how the bonnet look like it come over the fender here so really weird but yeah and then the back of the car it's a group on me it's, it's getting there it's getting there gonna finish up things we do for the shop. The things we do for the shop. I'll let you know how it turns out. Somebody, please send more hat in the comments because me are dead. Oh, Jesus. All right, so uh, last location we're out by it's long, I don't know what it's called. It's a stretch of road leading to the Norman, the Norman, <coughs> the airport at Kingston. Uh, um, the sun is super hot i was still i forget but we're not gonna reach home um to make it for the curfew or might be on the road a little bit later after that but um it's, it is what it is um got some good shots and i'm still loving this phone it's so bright and vibrant all right now i'm overexposed but not exposing it since uh locking clothes continue on norman manley highway for three kilometers Oh yeah, I asked Google for directions and she's just still giving me them. And there's a M4 right there. What? Um, yeah, we're almost done. Almost done. That's it. Good. So we are back in Mobe and the Audi SQ I keep calling the SQ5 the Audi Q5 Sportback she's also here she was record down I drove to Kingston on Sunday I was a two and a half to three hour drive and she was record down she got driven down she was chauffeured on the back of a truck but who's complaining now we're gonna do our walk around of the car let's get into that
now we're gonna be looking walking around like the exterior of the car just gonna make it quick because outside it's super noisy starting at the front we have redesigned LED headlights looking a little bit looking sleek what I don't really get that pointed out is the design for here as you can see the bonnet kind of just comes over and just sticks out just a little bit over the fender a little weird probably done for aerodynamics not sure um, otherwise from that we have the a gray front grille with some chrome accents here some minor small chrome accents across so it look kind of blinged out in the front we have the quattro badge there on the left hand side and the Audi badge smack in the middle there's also four front sensors at the front of the car and a camera just underneath the Audi sign there we'll get to what that does in a minute for the wheels also the car is a little bit dirty um, rain we had some rain earlier today so it was a little bit dirty all right so for the wheels of the cars these are 20 inch wheels squared all around so the tires are 255 45 20s um, looks really nice these rim designs they have a, a designer going is a two-tone gray and silver finish kind of similar matching the front grille pretty decent red calipers for this S line model the brakes are a little bigger than the regular brakes that come with the car also the same for the rear this brakes at the back with the red calipers as well looking really nice now the side profile of the car uh, I still have mixed feelings about her um, let me know what you guys think it's growing on me it's growing on me it's getting there now we're gonna move around to what makes this car what this car is and it's the back it's a Q5 sport back um, it's a downsize from the Audi Q8 which is the big boy made to rival the tile likes the X6 and the GLE coupe so that's what the Q8 was made to rival this is made to go against the likes of the X4 and the GLC coupe that's from Mercedes um, it's not bad it's not necessarily too crowded you can see that it's aggressive here in the back the tail lights are pretty dope I love them 45 TFSI the quattro badging here on the back with also the q5 badging on the left hand side we also have backup camera and backup sensors here on the back of the car and you can find one camera on each door mirror which adds up to the 360 camera that is on this unit with that said we're going to be looking at the trunk space now so powered trunk and I suspect she has a kick access. I forgot to close this part, so we're gonna just talk about it right now. It's the we call the space saving spear that once you remove it, it you have a pump that comes with it. And you can just pump up the car, good to go right away. This falls out, we have a jack and your tools and all your goodies that come with it. This falls out. For what it is, the trunk space isn't too bad. Um, this indicates where the overall space stops so not too bad trunk space is alright and then we have our privacy screen here that is with the car as well so trunk is alright and well, from what I can see the seats are able to go flat so now we're gonna talk about rear seats rear seats yeah all right so we're gonna be looking at the rear seats of the car really nice design with this diamond stitching yes diamond stitching it's amazing it's immaculate all right my job the english um grammar and stuff all right so the seats are really nice the centerpiece folds down showcases a cup holder here and like a little piece of an armrest really dope we have ac vents in the rear as well as power outlets for your rear passengers which are really cool we have this nice firm area here two slots in the sides that's for taller people and their feet so extra leg room and look the storage area there in the back knitted the door facing is pretty decent as well um alcantara here in the middle piano black design nice quality silver door lock there 
and handle is nice and firm leather here on the armrest area with some stitching the stereo is really dope we'll get to that in a minute when we're talking about the infotainment system up front smart entry is actually on all four doors and the trunk pointing out this here we have the lighted door sills really dope layout here is pretty much the same with your window controls child lock for the rear doors we we'll go closer child lock for the rear doors mirror controls here we can actually fold in the mirrors and adjust them from here sorry for shaking the camera about and central locking is here as well we also have our trunk unlock button there but it does not close the trunk <coughs> ah no I sit in the car too early yes we'll be talking about the front seats as well these seats are even better than the rear seats that was expected yes we have starting up top now it's not too big of a headrest adjustable different day, up and down we have the s line logo here in the seats same diamond stitching design running down the rear and the back support and the leg support also have the extended piece here for taller people and it's 10 way adjustable as is also the passenger seat yes and those are the seats now we're gonna jump in and look at the stereo steering dash and centerpiece layout Lego ah. to start the car once you have the key inside, oh, it gets quiet all of a sudden. Yes, simply press the foot on brake and press the start engine, stop engine button. AC is going to come on in a few. And we're going to start by looking at the steering wheel. Love wide angle. Yes, nice horn. We have our dash controller here. This is used to control the dash. Over here, we have our media controls really cool and below that we have a cruise control here behind next to the paddle shifter down shift up shift we have our light controls here for your bright and indicators we have our wiper controls there and we have our lighting controls there oh that is green yes not getting better okay and for the dashboard it has a lot of different views and features. It's fully digital, super cool. It tells you everything a dash should tell you. Yes, and then so. And you can control that using this side here. And it has a nice little um, icon of the Q5 Sportback. Amazing. Okay, now for the infotainment system. It is a tablet with bezels and your chin and the top piece here it also is the central control for everything they've moved away with the little trackpad thing that they used to have and it's now fully touch screen so everything is there actually car radio media telephone phone apps favorites settings help and some other integrated stuff that you can control throughout it's really really cool we have below that also we also have apple carplay android auto bluetooth usb and your regular fm radio connection and um, all of those are coming pretty standard in modern day cars so buying a brand new car without it it's it's like not getting a crucial part of the car like having the car without an fm radio nowadays Below that, we have our dual zone climate control. I apologize for the video quality as night is nigh, drawing nigh. Yes. So bear with me a bit. We'll be finished soon. Yes. And below that, we also have some other controls here. So the drive select. So you can choose from a bunch of different drive modes. So such as efficiency, comfort. Efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. Dynamic is Audi's sport mode. We have our engine stop start, um, traction control, park sonar here. So, there, no, that is actually the 
park assist. My bad. And also the park owner is here. He'll descend assist and that is, I'm not sure what that does. Close that. Not sure what that does. What does this do? Do you know? Oh, okay. It turns off the display. So this here turns off the display. Yes. Turns off and turn off the display if you don't want any distractions. We have a storage compartment here, not too tall. Um, another storage bin here. And so card, Charlie Kamika. She is an Audi sales rep. Sorry for making fun, guys, earlier. Center mounted shifter with the same design as the steering wheel here. Park brake, which is electronic, and also the brake hold. It's a storage piece here. We have also the side to the driver is heated and cooled cup holder. Sliding that out, we have a charging pad and leather armrest with additional storage here in the center. We have a mask and another. It's a USB Type C port. That's cool. Yes, the Q5 Sportback also has ambient lighting, which is really nice. Here we have it set to Caribbean. You can see where it illuminates just below the dashboard, um, next to the Quattro sign, which is aluminum here, and feels really nice, high quality stuff. Um, and it's also on the doors, so you can see. Where is it again? Hold on. Yeah. There it is, just below the door there. So it's really nice. I have no complaints other than the car, the, the look of the car is growing on me. Yeah, that's it. All right guys, that was it for another video. It's a pretty cool one. Oh Lord gee, I almost forgot to point out. The car is equipped with a sunroof. That's really nice. And it stretches all the way back to the rear passengers and then the front section here opens and slides back it's a lot of stuff yeah closing so that was it and the trip to kingston was was pretty cool i got to test out this new phone i got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, not a new phone, an old phone, but a new phone for me. And it's gonna be my new vlogging partner for a while. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are doing good. That's another video. Have a good one. Peace.